Polyamory is getting popular in our culture, but it's actually quite popular in the United Church of Christ. That is a very woke, liberal denomination in the United States. Polyamory means that a person can be married or be in a committed relationship, but they have permission by their spouse or their boyfriend or girlfriend to have other side relationships. If you're unfamiliar with this term, you could just call it sexual immorality. It's basically an approval, polyamory, of extreme sexual immorality out in the open. What people used to do in secret, now they're bragging about it and doing it right in the open. You have to wonder in the near future with regards to our North American culture if any sexual sin will be looked down upon in our culture. Here's a minister saying that the practice of polyamory is really God-given. It's just another, uh, I guess, color on the rainbow of God's gift to humanity. This is an Episcopal minister, by the way. Somehow, even now, even in 2024, there's something controversial about being gay, about being a lesbian, about being pansexual or polyamorous or asexual or any of the other beautiful God-given shades of the rainbow. And because there's something different about it, there's power in standing up and being counted. Yes, you heard that. Sexual immorality that the Bible clearly condemns, according to this Episcopal preacher, is God approved. This next clip is particularly disturbing. It's an individual that says Jesus is polyamorous because Jesus has relationships with many people. Jesus is polyamorous. Yeah, you heard me right. Jesus is polyamorous. We know this already though, even if we don't think about it or put it in those terms. If you're one of those Christians who believes in the importance of a personal relationship with Jesus, well, Jesus is having personal relationships with billions of other people too. And of course, this individual uses the straw man argument because Jesus is polyamorous, everyone else can be, and therefore he approves of and encourages this guy's sexual immorality. But what's most disturbing for me and shocking is this last clip. The United Church of Christ, which like I said, is an ultra woke and really wicked denomination. They say that 70% of their clergy is comfortable with polyamory. 70% of the clergy surveyed are downright okay with open sexual immorality. Let's give this clip a listen. My name is Amy Johnson. I'm the Minister for Sexuality Education and Justice in the United Church of Christ. We are here today to talk about consensual non-monogamy. The survey results, which maybe you all are waiting for now, um, were the following. 25% uh, of respondents currently practice or previously practice uh, a form of consensual non-monogamy, such as polyamory. That's higher than the national average of 21%. 45%, so almost half of respondents have encountered polyamory and consensual non-monogamy in a UCC context. That includes a pastoral care setting, a Bible study, the ONA pro open and affirming process that we have, or some other setting. And 70% said that they are comfortable with polyamory and consensual non-monogamy, either by being in a relationship structure like that themselves or feeling comfortable with other people being in such, such relationships. And within that 70%, most of those respondents said that they are comfortable with and supportive of consensual non-monogamy because their theology informs this, faith, this viewpoint. These videos and these statistics are sick beyond belief and sad beyond belief. And they're a huge distortion of the word of God. In the Bible, we have sexual purity taught really from start to finish. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 4 to 6, we hear what Jesus wants for humanity. Matthew 19, 4 to 6, Have you not read, He who created them from the beginning made them male and female. There we see that there's two sexes. And said, therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife. The two shall become one flesh. So the man leaves his parents and he holds fast to his wife, man and woman in marriage. So they're no longer two, but one flesh. 
What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. And there we see that the, what God ordains for humanity is husband between one man, one woman, till death do them part. And they are to be sexually pure in that marriage. And we know this because the book of Hebrews talks about the sexual purity that every man and woman should have in marriage. Let marriage be held in honor among all. And let the marriage bed be undefiled. For God will judge the sexually immoral and the adulterous. And here we see a very stark warning. That we are to be sexually pure in marriage. Because God is a holy God who brings judgment upon the sexual immorality of individuals. Not only are these preachers lost, they need repentance. They need faith in the real Jesus Christ that the Bible talks about. Not only are these clips sad, they are just plain sick. And what I want to be, remind everyone of is that only Jesus saves. Only Jesus grants repentance and faith. And I pray that these people are brought to true repentance and true faith in the true Jesus found in the word of God so they themselves can experience eternal life and joy, but they themselves as well can be released from the bondage of sin that they are under caused by the devil. Thanks for watching and God bless.